Hello and God blessings. Welcome to Shepherd's Heart Ministry family. I appreciate all of you that have joined and have shared and it has encouraged me today as I check to see that you know over a time of working on this page with the Lord's help that you know I kind of felt discouraged but then I said oh my gosh people are really actually watching the videos and I pray that the Holy Spirit leads you and teaches each one of you I thank you for all those that have shared and have joined I appreciate it and I give all the glory and honor to the Lord for that I feel very blessed to just know that God is working on my behalf and each of you that are here joining and listening here on the path you know as I was driving the Lord laid it on my heart to share with you today there's nothing nothing at all that can separate us from God's love God's love encourages us to know his character what is God's character when we read God's Word we learn about his character and God is love he is encouraging he's peaceful He's a good father. He desires to give us good gifts. He rebukes us and corrects us. Yes, he does. That would be a good father. And just think, when we stay on the path, and as he helps us with the Holy Spirit leading and guiding and directing us, it helps us from not going where there is danger, where we could fall off the side and get hurt. Maybe poked by thorns, bitten by a poisonous snake. We don't have poisonous snakes near where I live, but there are poisonous snakes in the world. There's all kinds of debris. We don't know what's down in there. Of course, as I look through the trees, there is a creek down there. I can hear it. I'm sure there's deer that gather right around the water. As a deer panted for the water, so our soul should thirst for him. Hallelujah. We're in a time and season here where I live where the corn is coming up, the flowers are blooming, the vegetables are growing, the cherries are ready to be picked from the trees. There's a little babbling brook down there. I am thankful that God brings his peace and his love and his joy. There's nothing at all on this world to give us the love that God gives us. That he loved us so much that he gave his only son to die on a cross for all, for all of us. And if we stray off the path, Straying off this path is not good. Though it can be tempting. Like, hmm, there's a brook down there. It kind of like beckons you because it's peaceful. But you know, I don't see anywhere to step to go down there, which could injure me. What God will tell us, no, don't do it. But our flesh will say yes because it's a hot day and it would cool me off. But we don't know what's waiting there. I could twist my foot. And God says, you know, that's okay. I love you, my child. Come right back up onto the path. He welcomes us right back to the path. And we get back on it. And he gives us love as a prodigal child. He says, welcome. But he would also like us to stay here. But we make choices that just are not good for us at all. And then like a father, he's like, oh, okay, let's try this again. And he still loves us. His arms are open wide for you. His son died on that cross for you. And then he rose again on the third day. And he went into heaven. And he's making a mansion for you. 
If you don't know Jesus today, today is the decision to, to make. It's never too late. But we do have a choice. It's one or the other where we'll spend eternity. God would prefer that you come and join him in heaven when the time comes. And there'll be all kinds of beautiful brooks to see in heaven. Because he is building a mansion for you. If you already know Jesus as your Savior, share him to others. Time to share about Jesus to others. Wide is the gate and narrow is the way. We don't want to be following the world. There's nothing in the world to offer. I love what's in the world is God's creation. I can hear the birds chirping. The sun is shining. There's trees and flowers and grass. And yes, as I'm on this path, mosquitoes using me as a dartboard. <laughs> he made those too, but for a purpose. Everything on this earth is made for a purpose. We tend to complain about it when we should just say, thank you, Lord. And while I'm here, what is there you want to show me? That big old field back there. It's so peaceful here. I like to go in the country because it's so, so peaceful away from all the noise where we can hear God's voice. You know. Like I said, there's nothing that can separate us from God's love. Nothing. We make the choice to go the other direction. But God is still waiting. He's waiting for you. I just want to encourage you today, no matter whatever you're going through, He still loves you. Even when we don't feel worthy or loved, He still loves you. You are worthy of His love. So, I just want to encourage you, come back. Come back. He beckons you to come back. He says, come all ye that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. If you're thirsting for more, he has living water to offer you. He will give you the thirst, for you will thirst no more. I appreciate, like I said... Thank you for joining us here, all of us on the path walking together. And the beauty of His holiness. <clears throat> A lot of people out today. Hi. And the song that comes to mind right now is Bless the Lord, O My Soul. Bless the Lord, O My Soul. O My Soul. Okay, sorry, I can't sing very well. <laughs> it's getting harder when you're trying to walk and talk. There's some people down there walking their dog. Bless the Lord, O My Soul. O My Soul. Bless his holy name. Now, if you can find that song, listen to that and just give him all the honor and glory and praise that is due him. Just open up that Bible and read it. That is God's instructions to us. That is his love displayed with Jesus dying on the cross. This is love displayed to make all of this, and it's polluted by man, <clears throat> wrecked by man. 
but he made this for you. I just thank the Lord that he's always with me and he hears me. We can hear him if we're listening. And sometimes we say, what is he saying? When we get into a relationship with him, he speaks to you through his word. He speaks to you through others. And he speaks to you in prayer, in meditation. There's all kinds of ways that God says something to you. We hear him more and more and more when we listen. Oh, there's a little chipmunk running across the path. Now, I know this doesn't seem all fiery, preachy, like maybe some other channels. But I'm going by how the Lord has led me to share. And I thank you all for the patience. God has brought you here for a purpose. So, you know, again, you're welcome to share. I have a group page called God's Unfolding Plan Ministry. And so I share there. I like to also share songs. People that really know me know that I am always singing or sharing some kind of music. I can worship God. Like he'll bring a song to my heart. That just shows how much he loves me. And then I love him because he just bring a song to me and I can sing it on to him. You could do the same. God bless and thank you for listening. Come again. <laughs>